Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting Propaganda Cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda Hero of Strike, Defender of the Fatherland. We're off here to an exciting uh, one versus one on the road to Karakow between the North. We got Insane Devem fighting here for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, taking on the role here of the 20th Panzer Division versus the South. We got Findeed. It is indeed Findeed. Fighting here for the Soviet Union, Socialism. And the 5th Guards Mechanized Core here. We've got Mechanized Assault Mobile Defense and Lightning War. Sniping Infantry Bullets versus Findeed's Mechanized Support. Got Motor and Soviet Combined Arms Army with Infantry and Star. Oh, Pimals with Pacific and Double Sniper Bullets. And therefore, Findeed a double engineer start. Lightning indicating a special rifle command there. Though he does also some infantry out first here with the Council Squad. Noting sandbags here around the cutoff point as well. Also, the way he utilizes a pre-match makes it difficult here for Devon to make use of it because he will just only get the light cover bonus. So, this is actually a reasonably safe setup there for Fendido, of course, also just dominate the area here. So, it's also an interesting setup because normally you wouldn't think of finding here, but clearly Fendido uh, has actually had some experience around here and is taking no chances. So that's actually an interesting setup. We got here Pioneers, Gunners for Devon. Also noting Devon going himself for a double Pioneer start as well. Obviously, he's not building a space rifle command, but nonetheless allowed to grab more territory in the early game, following up then with some more regular infantry there for the Wehrmacht. And uh, for Fendid, it's not penal to the right way, it's going to be the scout cut, it's going to be the M3A1. Rolling out, there we got Pioneers with Engineers here, MP40s versus most of their guns. Almost got the few pawn there, going to need some more support here, since they do have rifles to fight the Engineers with a bit more properly. More Engineers arriving there for Fendid. Same going got them running up for DevM. No sign of MG42s as yet here though for DevM. No sign of MG 42s yet. There we go. Pioneers need to move towards each other. And there we go. We got the M31 out here for Findeed. In the south, and conscript taking points. As soon as he's pushing everything near sort of for more offensive work, whereas the conscript you'd figure would be more suited for it, actually down the south where there's absolutely no sign of the enemy. So, interesting uh, thing going on there for Findeed. You got moved there towards the south here. We got Gunners, Pioneers, while the Gunners, Pioneers move to deal with the forces here. So, two pushes here. We got Gunners versus Conscripts. They're going to need Pioneer support there. Fitch have a real good chance here versus the Conscripts. And most otherwise, you can just cut off. Not even that, actually, because the Conscripts are pushing against the Gunners and can do an awful lot of damage there. So, there we go. Pioneers being dispatched from the north here to support the Gunners here. But it might actually be too late there for Devem. We'll have to see how it works out. He does have some light cover. The Conscripts are oh, actually getting some light cover from the ditch as well. But there you go. Pioneers moving in. And with that, Devem should be able to just overpower here from these forces by the cutoff point in the south. Up north, though, can these in these here. we got the Scout Car as well. Overwhelming here a bit. we got an MP40 there for Devem. And the 20th Panzer Division. Ingenies being pushed back here. Scout Car rolling a bit about here. And there you go. Pushed off the cutoff point. A lot of fun going on here in the early game. we got two separate engagements. We've got snipers following up there for Fendid as well. This is moving down there after the Scout Car. Going to try and panther fast. It quickly pops up with Ingenies to pop into the house. And that way make it a bit harder for the Gunners to easily pursue the Scout Car. So sharp move there by Fendid. Sharp move. Sniper up there for Fendid and the 5th Guards Mechanized Core. Victory point being scored. we got Telemines down here for DevM. Good work there. And we got the first Doctrine. It is Guards. Not Guards, but it's Mechanized Support there for Fendid. Opening up for Guardsmen. Ambush Tactics. Well, Mark Vehicle, Bombing Strikes and the ISU 152. Pioneers sitting up, he got Snarf on the gun, he's MG42 moving in as well. He needs to be a bit careful around the snipers, then of course the scout cut couldn't feel able to rush the MG42 if he's not careful. So, that's still, Devon here continues with it. We know that has got going for third, and these were as well there. And he's almost getting wiped out, and there we go, quick retreat there for Devon, good unit preservation. Just not stick around the gunners more than necessary. We can also, in fact, see he's now falling back. But actually, it's a bit risky when there's a scout car nearby, which can easily hunt down the MG42. In this case, a scout car with flame throwing gunners. And so, in this case, once the gunners retreat, he should eight move. The other gunners should just cause a full retreat because this is actually some one of the great weaknesses of the MG42, which tends not to get discussed a lot. But generally, if you're forced to reposition your MG42, you're usually better off retreating it because it's usually so cumbersome and slow, you can't really set it up for anything else. And you're usually going to end up losing it. Which is exactly what happens here. So right there, Devon made a wrong call there versus Indeed. Perhaps he didn't want to try and hold up, but he was actually better off just retreating. There we go. He's actually stolen it. The MD42, they does get one of the engineer squads. A small victory there for Devon, but uh, if he loses the MD42, I don't think it's going to be worth that much because obviously the MD42 is worth a lot more than an engineer squad. So, bit of a loss there for Devon in the early game, though he's still getting more fuel than Indeed. So, in that regard, while he's lost an MG42, he's still got a bit of a resource lead. 
We got no tech up yet though. We got a banker up there to support Devem's forces at the front line. Sniper teaming up there, three kills, hiding up behind an old outhouse. And we got the Scalker hiding all the way over here. Pioneers continue south. It's going for the western call for him there. Gonna do some to deal with that. And pushing further south. Let's see if we can see aggressive taxes from DevM here versus Findeed. And there we go. Gonna do some conscripts here fighting it out. Somebody is setting up. And we got finally take up there for DevM and the 20th Panzer Division. And the Scarca is still hanging back. He might be hoping for sort of some opening to push out. He's not going to try and throw it away there on any senseless heroics. I think a very sensible decision there by Findeed. So Dimitri, did I ever tell you about that? Yes, you did. But I didn't. You always talk about the same story, Petro. Shut up. So we got guardsmen out there for Findeed. Like, gonna get the DP light machine gun to them as soon as he can. Then he's moving up. You got in five from country. Actually, sometimes we've really seen any sort of guardsmen from the. So it's usually just a lot of penal troopers or, oh, penal troopers really. Partisans maybe. But the guardsmen have rather fallen a bit into the shade. They're not because they're bad at all. Not at all. They're still pretty good, actually. Uh, they do seem to just sort of, you know, what occasion happens when you got something that's just a bit better in some ways, at least in our doctor, like the penal, so they just sort of tend to get a bit forgotten, despite, you know, in no way it's being poor. It's just, you know, it's kind of like how the American mortar outshadowed the pack cowards, but the pack cowards were still pretty damn good. It's just, the mortar was better. It's an extent still is, because it's still really accurate. Anyways, got any standing about here. We got a two on the way there for Devito, perhaps pop, probably to deal with the scout cut, but also deal with the snipers. I mean, that guy is sort of a double thing there. He might, of course, consider going for a second sniper team. We also got telemines down there. Demo rule being uh, good there, getting down some telemines here and there, so that way try and trip up any tanks or vehicles there from his opponent. Also, not the way he's sort of positioning at least this one. It's usually, again, not with expect on mine, so that one's going to be more likely to just, you know, not get spotted and just deal with the. What Findeed Scott, though Findeed noting Bali has got no mind sweepers at all. So whenever Telemine does go off, and because he's likely not going to go for S mines, which could of course tip off Findeed to wanting a mind sweeper. I mean, when it does go off, he might have to get something really good. And there we go. Got the M3A1, I left it burning. Second guard score there, I mean, fourth Findeed, adding the DP light machine guns. And he's in the fire there, we got the info to being carded for Paul Fort there by some engineers and that's very interesting. Apparently the flame for a model guy somehow got stuck over with it, so he's <laughs> That seems a bit hazardous. Do you have to carry around that flame for a tank? Yes! It makes me sleep better at night. Are you crazy? Yes! Anyways, M4 shooting there, push back with the gunners, the 22 and the pioneer. So we got a guard assault here with conscripts and snipers supporting it. Second guard coming about here. There's some of them equipped with DP light machine guns there. In many ways, not the most impressive light machine gun. And apparently, the only really thing that we had going for it was it was really, really durable. It could take a lot of abuse and still fire. That was really sort of the DP light machine gun sort of real redeeming feature. Trips reinforcing healing, grabbing points here as well. And a sniper for DevM. Probably told Chinese this force as opponents to be a bit more careful to speed him out as well. Get some counter bleed going there versus Findeed. Of course, you could also just go on for second 2 2 in that way, maybe gone more aggressive. But again, with Garton sort of generally sticking around the sniper, it's going to be a lot harder just, you know, get that done. Findeed, the Bali constantly sort of hitting the cough on here. In this case, got a guard squad defending. That's going to be quite a bit of resource there for DevM to actually flush out. So that's pretty good there for him. Even though we're going to push up here. Pioneers 2 to 2 versus Garthman. The Garthman up close versus the Pioneers. MP40s taking a bit of damage there, but nothing too critical. No flame for a super guard's help versus the Garthman. So that's going to take a bit of while there as well for him. Sniper opening up and then the conscript 2 to 2 blasting away Pioneers as well. He's going to need more forces here, but there you go. He's actually trying to flank in with the gun. He's been caught by an MP42 coming the flank here from the southern house. Very good help there by Findeet. Very good. The two needs to be careful here. And these reinforcing healing and still got troops here caught up. Devem, in fact, now getting bogged down on several spots without really getting concentrated anywhere. In this regard, again, just using the house, it really does give the uh, need a bit of a force multiplier, particularly when then uses the more elite guardsmen. Flame forest and arriving here to sort of further push him out. Good work there, now hitting the fuel point in the north. 
I mean, still, DevM's got an overall resource lead, I think, over Thing Deed. He might, in fact, no, he hasn't actually taken up yet, but uh, so far there's no real sort of utilization of it fully. Of course, I mean, Thing Deed's got three guard squads, and that's definitely going to be a problem there for DevM as well. A recommendation would actually be to go for some Panzer gonna do so that way challenge the guardsmen in the anti infantry department that way threaten uh, if indeed a bit more. We got the two roaming about here looking for targets. More telemines here. You can see Devim is very much, you know, focused on the possibility of indeed rushing out some kind of T semi anything else, and is laying down a lot of telemines in different spots there to that way try and catch up and you know trip up any sort of vehicles or armor if indeed might dispatch to deal with Demem's infantry and Demem's going for double snipers he really wants that sniper team dead he wants it very dead lastly he's willing to invest the 608 no, actually 720 manpower required to take them out So that is quite an investment there from DevM. I mean, if you can, of course, make it work, I mean, you can then always just begin really bleeding up indeed, but uh, you could also just try and go for Pantagons and just launch a really big flank. I mean, you may say, well, he knows where the sniper is, then sort of tries to up, cut off the retreat path, then push up free, and that way force the sniper to retreat past something that's going to murder the sniper pretty hard. I mean, currently, I mean, Findeed's flank is, in fact, really, really exposed. It's also getting both the fuel points away there from DevM, who's yet to tag up. Two to two fixed up again, comes to the final round the car point. Second sniper up, plus more grenadiers for Dev M. No. Panzer grenadier at all there, just regular grenadiers. But he has gone for Dark, it's going to be Lightning Wall, which means G43 is most likely for some of his So, of course, Black Machine is going to help. We've got the third sniper team there, slowly pressing ahead. They're getting ever closer to Dev M's base. You can see there, Findeed's playing a bit aggressive there. Ooh, also, mine down the road from Findeed. So, both players begin to mine about more aggressively against each other. Troops suppressed here. Strong position here using the houses. It's going to be a bit difficult for them to easily clear out. And they'll actually be just to try and push for the south and then hit the points around here instead of just trying to directly engage it. Punish if indeed then for leaving other parts of the map exposed and hit there. And so far it seems to be what uh, DevM is opening up for. Again, he's not trying to push through here. Again, charge into, again, strong position with that artillery and flame is going to be rather difficult. Instead, just going to head elsewhere, which is tactically very sound there by DevM. Very sound. It's certainly also what the German army would preferably do tactically. Again, you know, avoid and just envelop the position and then attack once you've brought up the heavier stuff to deal with it. He is... Still not taking up then. Definitely describe that as a bit of an error. I mean, he's, again, he's got a resource lead. He's you know, trying to push for an Osprey or a Panther 4 on a reasonably fast pace, but he's actually just not really doing anything with his uh, fuel, which I do feel is a mistake. We'll have to see how, of course, Alton works out. Also, looks like he lost a sniper. Got caught here outside of his own base again. I don't think he was expecting Findee to just hang about here, waiting for the interval up, because, again, close to your base, there's a sense of security. And that's usually also again where a sneaky player can strike. So that was really nasty move there by Vindeed against Devem. Really nasty. Really clever too. Guards moving up here on this finding the T43s. Guards when they're taking losses from the sniper, the grenadiers, and whatnot. So we're also going to see a more rare split up than this. The southern player has the northern fuel point, and the northern player has the southern fuel point. That's a much more rarer division in terms of resources of the road to Kharkov so I mean this match is definitely pretty interesting just from that perspective pretty interesting T-70 following up there fourth indeed and the fifth guards mechanized core constantly about here again exposed hitting DevM's exposed rears both players that way basically instead of trying to engage head on are looking for you know the more weaker links in the arm and that just you know, jam in then so that way try to cut off the other bastards resources so that's some pretty clever play there from both players and overall just a lot more interesting and just watch two players bash their heads in hoping the other one's skull to break first but there you go to just going after the sun look for white here from of course the gasp in the above could button up the two to two in fact could decide to button up at a right wrong time and there we go almost got the sun but there we go gets button up here 
and knocked out the 2 to 2 quad loss. Also lost the Grenadier squad. Here's a Devim suffering a bit here to Fendid, who's now definitely got a bit of advantage with three guard squads, a sniper, and of course the T 70 light tank. He's certainly going to have to hope for a Telemann to deal with it at the moment. So he's finally tagged up, though, when it gets a bit of a fumble there, not taking up fast enough for that matter, getting up some Pomaco fast. I mean. Could realistically at least have lost him out at least a minute or so sooner here against his opponent. But oh well. And Austin here I think would have been pretty great. Obviously because the T Sim could also threaten the gas and the rest of the indeed infantry nicely. Can lead for the gas there we go, T Sim hit Oh straight line and Stella Mine takes out the T seventy. Fifty munitions well spent there for Dev M. <laughs> And Fendi there. I mean, usually, if there's an instinct of you telling you, know, there's mines about, I really should get a mines, but then you follow that instinct because you're more than likely to be right. Your opponent is one of those deviants who actually uses mines, you know, to actually, you know, destroy infantry and vehicles. I mean, good work there by Dev M. Good work. Got the news push back. Here's the going to do charge force with the G3 freeze. Got them fuel, he just needs the manpower in calling the Panzer for those as Fendid and certainly with those losses there. Fendid's actually only got the guardsmen to really deal with the Panzer for so that's going to be a problem there for Fendid. That's going to be a bit of a problem unless they um, proceed to handle this Panzer for really terribly. Still aggressive back and forth play here and maneuvering and just harassment there, going for the fuel points again and again. Car points and whatnot, and there we go. Indeed, taking up, going for the mechanized armor campanier. It's now they're supporting the pioneers here, going for the gas. And there we go. Almost got them wiped there. Going for the car one, they're going to be advancing slowly. And Panzer fall for Dev M. And the 21st Panzer Division. Not 21st, but 20th. 21st, pretty much. I don't think actually fought on the Eastern Front except for maybe a small period, but primarily fought first in North Africa, then was rebuilt in Normandy then fought there over towards you know well Western Europe where I think and is roughly it's a days there around uh, the El Satchel Lorraine region in Lorraine actually might actually been moved towards Eastern from afterwards I don't know anyways Panther 4 there on the way for Dev M first Panzer Kampfwagen Panis was back here by the guardsman constantly rolling up there we go Panther 4 out no, nothing is for a pin mark machine gun. If indeed it's a bit time off there for you can get out any tanks, but having both fuel points leave for a brief while will certainly make it a lot more likely to get out soon while after to really at least challenge Dev M's Panzer IV. Got another telemine there again, he's been very thorough in his mining and the interesting to th note there from Findee, while he's laying down more mines himself, so he's not bothering with the minesweepers. So, I mean, there's certainly every likelihood another tank of his might just run into a telemine and get into a lot of trouble. There you go, the North Panther Force striking the forts. They're trying to capture the Northern Fuel Point, our ability hitting the point here as well. Snipers retreating back to the base here. We can see that Findeed is uh, a bit skittish with that Panther for about there. There's more than the range. Oh! Ground! Did they even spot there's a mine going down there? Looks like not. Looks like not. And he goes straight into the second mine. Good work there by Findeed. Mining up the map there. Good work. Findeed so not allowing himself to be outdone by vile fascists as they even. Do not worry, comrades. We can lay down a lot more mines than those fascists, and ours will be huge compared to this. I have my name as Comrade Findid Tramsky. Anyway, Snava comes moving about here, grabbing the southern fuel point there as well as the northern one. We got a MD4 choosing up in the small chip. So again, Findid here, sort of hiding about there, just not always retreating, just sort of hiding a the unit there, in sort of a blind corner, and then suddenly sneaking in there. Really nasty. Then it's it also a bit realistic, considering that again, you how a lot of the Serb parties basically were just Russian troops caught behind enemy lines, just waiting for their time to strike. Guardsmen there being pushing back. The Grenadiers though, learn health themselves. They go quick retreat. He could have maybe tried getting some contract ahead, but they're fine. The South they couldn't run and merge. Getting the Panzer IV fixed up there. MP42 defend the fuel points again. Really nasty play there, indeed. Really nasty. 
and he gets out his first tank, the T-34-6. Meanwhile, the Panzer IV hasn't done a lot of damage in part because, again, it ran into mine there from Findeed. There we go. Somehow managed to catch the M412 guard. He basically, I think, ran about here and basically returned Findeed's trick upon him there. So clearly, the is landing a bit there from Findeed. And Telemine goes off there and killed some poor bass in the process as well. I need to fix the pens a bit more. So there you go again. Telemine's there doing the whack. Telemine's doing the whack. But there's a lot of gas in the way. There's, he can't immediately just rush you down. Of course, he might try down here if he's not worried about any mines. Of course, the enemy support will make it a bit more risky as well. But there he goes. Going for it. He's going for it. Pony's being hit, they're basically acting spit. There you go. Oh, he's gonna have to charge into the mine. There we go. Oh, <laughs> damn him. Mine sweepers. One guinea's being out there. And the problem is there's two guard squads behind the Panzer IV and he's got nothing to clear the flanks. So right now the Panzer IV's rear is exposed to the guardsmen. And he, I think the shot bounced off the T-34. There you go. Now the Guardsmen attack the Panzer IV. End of M's otherwise aggressive maneuver gets punished because he didn't have sufficient infantry support. I liked it though. I liked it. Just ah, uh, Telemine ultimately didn't do enough. There couldn't finish off the tank with it. Meaning he's lost the Telemine on that. Plus he's lost the Panzer IV, and the Panzer IV is probably the biggest loss there. For oh, almost got the grenade. Can this there with a grenade on top of that? Sniper almost there as well. There, Dev M in a certainly tricky position. You'll probably have to go for another Panzer IV soon enough. There we go. Meanwhile, though, grabbing control of the south. Grabbing control of the south. Up here, T-54, good to go once more. Fourth indeed, and the fifth guards make a nice call. Finishing the can, the indeed sort of surrounding it, using the guardsmen. And Pani is just drawing fire, I guess, here for DevM to try and get an idea that Fendi is doing around his calf point. Succeeding in forcing. Panzer for almost done there. And again, this will in a bit of trouble. He's got the T-34 moving in there. Could whack him, he's not careful. There we go. Shot missed, but needs to retreat those gunnies before it's too late. And the Pani's about to go whack gonna here. What actually almost looks like it. So quite a loss there for Dev M. Quick replacing the Canadiers. Panther 4 done. There you go. Bit of back and forth here by the Northern Roads. Got the engaging the advancing pioneers and grenadiers. No grenades ready yet. Nor does he have the munitions for it. Leaving him a bit empty handed. But there you go. Panther 4. Charges forwards for the fatherland. Spots the Russian tank and misses. Sniper gun, he's been up supported. Guard also been exposed. Great to wipe him here with a bit of luck. Down to one man, down to one. We can get the gun of the guards from there. Wipe, that was going to be a bit of a small win there for Dev M. But no, looks like luck does not fortune him. Favor him. Lady Luck has abandoned him. But there you go, T-54 going straight for the Panther 4 there. Shot missed though, shot missed. Panther 4 shoots and penetrates the T-54. from 6 is 45mm of armor. Got Scandinavia sitting with the engineers, almost wiping that with themselves, almost getting a white as well. Can't get flanked behind the chicken fry there from the Gunnadies and the Panzer IV, M42. Up north, it's trying to get back the fuel, but there we go, guarding up position in the house. Something sounded like it was a mine that went off. At least one of the lighter anti infantry mines looks like not. Contra vs. Panzer IV here. Machine guns blazing away. Reducing Boris to a bag of meat. And there you go, another T 34 there for Findeed. And this is trying to regain southern control here. Gunners here slowly advancing past the victory point here. Panzer IV charging through. And there you go, almost got a Contra squad. Could he finally get a wipe there, Findeed? And. Ah! It's got to feel a bit frustrating they're not being able to get a wipe there. Guard's been out in the open as the Panther IV shot fired. Also, he's actually been using Merch and his Guard's been that way trying to save a bit of manpower. Probably to use in his tanks. More Telemines here. He's laying down a lot of Telemines actually against uh, his opponent. He's really intent on trying to neutralize any sort of uh, tank mobility there. 
Definitely not a bad idea, definitely not a bad idea. He just needs to be a bit more careful with the zone panzer four. Ultimate Ring Thimbeats finally brought up a mind with his own. He's certainly not gonna, you know, risk losing any more tanks to the Telemans or almost any near losses. Shot bounced though, shot bounced. The South Africa Guardsman. Guardsmen. Quick rough grenade and ooh, close there, but not quite. There's a gas from there, T Fit for supporting, Panzer Force supported by the Pioneers repairing it for moving ahead. They're clearly worried about the complications, and at the same time, we got the infantry there opening up, and the Panzer Force trying to wipe out the Pioneers supporting it. In the south, second T Fit for breaks through there, pushing away to them remaining infantry. You might want to consider Stug here to help deal with the large number of T 34s out there. Stug would certainly help deal with those numbers a bit, and he's going for a pack 40 to support versus that. Panzer four close to veteran T1. Up north, kind of is forced to abandon their attempt to secure the fuel for point for the fatherland. Mines down there as well. Again, both players being very thorough with the mines. Of course, they're just laying down anti tank mines, whereas from the of course, can lay down mines based on the function of both anti tank and anti infantry. Of course, they're not quite as powerful in our world, but you know. Panzer IV, there's a T-34-76, though. Down to half health. And this map is trying to clean the path in. Not a bad idea. Need to panzer first it. Oh, he doesn't have the meter for it, but of course, if indeed doesn't know that. And he meet with his T-34-76. So need some quick work there on the Panzer IV. If indeed in a much stronger position in terms of map control versus DMM at the moment. He's also got the larger force, and certainly in some ways the more veteran force of a lot of those guardsmen. Where Stibem should have been losing infantry squads a bit too regularly here, which is a bit worrisome. And certainly has been upgrading the light machine guns. I mean, the G43s are pretty good, but they do like a bit of punchy longer range as well. Big on the deal force here from DevM. Gonna try and flash out the country. We've got Garth to the rescue. Could pop a grenade here, at least attempt one. Versus DevM's exposed guns. There you go, Raf getting it off, pushing a bit around here. And there you go. Oh, ah. The more time that goes, he does pop the grenade, just allows him to expose to more fire techs and more many losers. There you go, grenade off. And only damages the backside there of Helmut. There's a court going for the core point again. He's moving all the way up there, right next to the them space. No additional armor there for DevM. Guards are not there, but the Panzer got Pioneer supporting, but no Grenadiers since they are basically in most cases retreating. Got the Snipe supporting. In the south, then the Grenadiers got a single pack forward to them, trap where you know, trying to defend themselves against them. Got mines here again. Again, if indeed being very thorough with the mines as well. I mean, now the players leaving. And that ain't got much to chance. Second Panzer four there for Devem and the 20th Panzer Division. Lieutenant Alexander in his T-34 there trying to get some fascists, but sadly his gun had a bit too much anti fleece the night before and lastly it's a bit wobbly. And yes, there were issues with the Russians drinking antifreeze. In general, overall, the Zoda army suffered from uh, notable issues with alcoholism, which could occasionally derail things. And I think, I might be wrong here, but there were plans for the Germans, but briefly considered just basically laying out the, you know, well, poisoned supplies of alcohol for the Russians to consume. And the pension for getting drunk. But there were issues with it. There was a basis of just. They wouldn't put some report their debts, they'd still get this allotment of vodka, for example, since every Soviet soldier was you know, entitled to a certain amount of vodka, so there'd be a bit of, you know, paper work in there, messed about like that just to get more vodka for the unit. Two P Panzer Force versus two T 34s 
Gaslinet taking... Oh, very lucky hitting those. It didn't really hit them at all. Pin that was going to be against the Panzer Ford. We should get the on that spot. And there we go. Gaffer people trading for the Panzer Ford. Garner begins actually hitting staff. Now the owners regain control of the map. It's an extent of SSP indeed, who is quickly retreating across the map here back to his base. But at the same time, of course, setting up for the next big push. You could also go for another T-54. You could also consider setting up for some H-85s there. It's that way, Chang Stevem. We really would benefit from Stu Deeds as support as well. We really would benefit from it. And, you know, maybe an LMG-42 for some of his gun ideas. Using marks with that to sort of spot out any mind, but again, Findeed's been laying down a lot over the time. Hmm. Okay, looks like one also went off at some point, and one Devin wasn't able to capitalize on. But again, he has been mining a lot as well, but again, the armor expenses he can't quite as easily just mine a lot, plus, he's been upgrading his infantry a lot more. Grabbing the northern victory point there, Garson coming from the nearby house. On Hang on, cat wants to get in. There we go, MD42 coming here in the southern field. We've got the T-Fed forming up to Port Noir, took tank nearby. You should probably done his Panzer Force that way, deal with the threat. And again, he might be too late now, all the Grenadiers have retreated. And for deep going for a third T-3476. Quick bundling up there, but uh, Devon can easily escape in this case around. Coming the northern field point, they're going this one nearby house, but it shouldn't back forth here. Back for him and the T 34 so also light down from the other Panzer 4. Almost got one T 34 here, but certainly pick there if you can actually knock out one of the T 34s. But indeed, very quickly breaks off the engagement. He does not try to push it there versus his opponent. And we can see Dermot is not in any sort of particular need to pursue, just repairs his Panzer 4s. Guard on the flank, into strange to the Panzer 4 there, and. A few losses there, Vasily and Igor slaughtered. And the rest sent off running as well there. Making hard to work down the second Panzer Fort. Got the T-34 there firing away. Splitting up his tanks a bit risky at the moment. Bit risky, then again, so is Fendid here. The both players are running a bit risky, but at the same time, he's keeping the other. Oh no, he's actually not spinning up further. Just coming back. There you go. Both the defense tank going together. Shot bounced. And shot missed. Though very close, that's betting two for that Panzer Fort. It's now, but they're quickly retreating after a quick hit there on some of Demo's force, at least attempted hit there. Bit difficult to see if they actually land it or not. Bit difficult to see, to put it mildly. Mine's down there, a fourth T-34 from in D. I mean, he's really getting hit there, Dev M, in terms of armor numbers. And at this point, Dev M really is going to need a string D to have a chance of his all those T-34s, I think. I mean, setting up for a target is possible, but four T-34s versus two Panzer Falls is going to be a bit of a problem there. It's going to be a bit of a problem there for the Panzer Falls, even the Pack 40 to keep up with, particularly because, indeed, is you know exactly not a complete patch with his tanks. Got from the south to the gun of the ears. Engaging itself spots so we can see sort of trying to deal with this. Panther fast off. Got the Panther moving in. Telemines spotted right next to some other mines. And he's almost getting wiped out here with the T-34 pack 45 flying trying to cover the flank. Of course not engaging the other ones. There you go. Betty 2 on T-34 and the Panther 4 there. So now he's got two Betty 2 T-34s there versus Demons 1 Betty 2 Panther 4. Almost got one of them. Then we got the other T-34 trying to still stick about. They're trying to buy time for the other one. And almost got it. Panther 4 they're being engaged. Got Piney supporting. Pursuing the second one here. Oh, he might bait them into the mine. Oh dear. That would be pretty critical. And there we go. Ah! Damage engine on the Panther 4. Gets one of the T-34s from 6s. 
but he needs to kick that uh, Panzer IV fixed as quickly as possible. The other team for bombing it straight into the second mine. Oh dear. Got the pack following me there. Got one team for going in there. The Panzer IV's out quite with the range support. Shot five. Pioneers taking losses there. Several men killed. Other team for force moving in there. Pack forty setting up, but not fast enough there. Almost got one team for four. Panzer IV goes down in a bloom of fire. Gets another T-34 there. From his indeed still got two about. He's still got two about. And can always replace his losses compared to Dev M. Actually, Dev M can reasonably fast, but we're saying for the Tiger, he might not be so keen on it. And the cub, the sort of burning tanks to actually make it harder for the pack four to spot the T-34 and shoot at it. So that adds more management there for them sort of trying to catch that bloody tank. Pioneer says spotted by constant charging force of Pioneer support trying to make it harder there for Dev M to fix his Panzer four. Good assault party there from Findeed. Almost got another T-54 there with the Panzer for Almost. Can he get it out of there? And there it goes. Second T-54 arrives, knocking out Dev M's final Panzer IV. He is not too far from the Tiger. He is not too far off. But that was certainly not the best time of engagement. I mean, Findeed got lightly off there. Two T-54s lost to get two Panzer IVs. I mean, this again was much... There was an engagement again, just decided by mines. They again had to them not just charge it into the mines, he probably would have done a bit better. But because he went in for the mines, again, it's harder to get his Panzer IVs out of there. Plus, of course, they suffered already, you know, uh, not very good damage. And if indeed, of course, just rapidly replaces his losses. Whereas again, Devem seems dead set on getting a Tiger tank here to support his forces. Charging right in the aim before 2 Vetsy 3, by the way. There you go, quick suppressing the forces. Mines go off though, almost wiping the MD-42 crew there actually. North Lake on here, it's going off. It's still got the search now about there, 19 kills. Almost 53 there, damn them snipers are long gone. And again, at least one of them definitely did not earn themselves in. Victory point, we got Demon with the lead over Fendid. But he's certainly struggling there versus Fintid. He's otherwise struggling versus him. I mean, uh, Fintid's definitely got the arm at advantage here. And certainly can push it better than Devin again, who's just waiting for a Tiger tank. Trying to get the Pack 40 out of the Consport covering the rear. Could wipe out the Pack 40 there. Maybe even try and steal it away from Dev M in the 20th Panzer Division. We've got the T-Fed rolling ahead here. Kind of is caught by the fuel point. Kind of is about to get wiped. If it's not there, we go. Wiped by the sniper. Quick retreat. Got Dev going to counter attack the calf point. Pushing back the guardsman. Getting some good hits of the G-43s. Dev M certainly in a very rough spot again. His attempt at going for the Tiger certainly having issues. He's not he trying to use relief in from seeing you. Maybe that's that way offset some of the losses, just getting more force to control on that with. And he keeps going for more gun ideas, which. Again, I do feel like he should at least at some point next in some Panzer gun leaders here versus Fendid in this fight. More engineers for Fendid. Replacing his uh, valuable mines with the crew there. He's clearly not intent on losing any more tanks of those bloody mines. There we go. Tiger finally out for Devim and the 20th Panzer is shown. Pack 40 being thrown away there. Oh, got the Gaspin trying to run off with it. Also oh, ready to collapse if he's not careful. Tiger setting up, pin lock machine there being added. There you go, Tiger arrives, pack 40 recruit again and white again. Devon's having none of that, he's having none of that. There you go, trying to pass past the T-Fed without any sort of damage beforehand, it's not going to do a match. And T-Fed Force trying, oh, oh. Sharp maneuvering there but indeed and barely avoids the Tiger here, barely avoids it. He got every concert there from Fendid against Devon's Tiger tank. Multi Force are arriving. Three T Fed Force are going to try and pursue the Tiger by the looks of it. Oh, hits a telemine, hits a telemine. Tiger shoots at max range, goes retreat right at the same time as the you know, uh, Panzer Pass. Then he does no for it. 
More shots for out there, trying to take more damage again, thanks to being marked there by Findeed. Still, he's doing some damage to Findeed's T-34s. And he continues to head here with the Tiger, despite the dangers by the looks of it. And then decides not to up here. Now they're going to do this court white. Right. Devem is suffering uh, rather heavy into loss. Now he continues to head for the Tiger, he continues to head. Pretty risky there by DevM, pretty risky. No infantry support. Charging head of the off one T-34, shot penetrate, but then he goes to take to penetrate from the T-34, almost knocked out in fact. Oh dear. And there we go, gets the Tiger tank. Three penetrating hits through the front llama of the Tiger. And with that, it rather looks like GG. Fendid's now got again several veteran D3 guards because again, they're not bad by any shot. No mess here, really. They're not bad at all. Plus, he's got been handling his tanks so well, the competitor has been constructing a bit there with them. His own, that is. And obviously, he's also been struggling with Fendid's T34s. The sniper's certainly not hurting Findeed's course. I mean, again, just catching that one sniper there, Devems outside of his own base there really was a nasty move, which you can also think gave Findeed a bit of an edge over Devem. And there you go, GG from Devem. GG. Game over. A pretty interesting fight, I would say. A pretty interesting fight here with some intense actions, good maneuvering as well, they're going by both players and some overall just nice play there. The Realm though again struggles, A pushes advantage with tech there, I think that was something he done slightly better, I think he went for too many grenadiers, not saying any panic on this, which could also benefit at and so some of his armor play was at times a bit weak. Good use of mining though, good use of mining, and also great use of mining with indeed good maneuvering as well, some nasty tricks there for hiding units repeatedly up here where Devon really wasn't about to look, good move there by Vindeed as well. Uh, good use of the guards, but overall just nice use of the doctrine. Just a bit rare to see that one though, didn't say call in nice use any bombing strikes. It was still just nice to see some gas and overall being utilized by the surgeon, of course, showing they're still pretty damn good. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, want to subscribe to your friends, share it with everyone. If not, send in a replay of your own and feedback in the comment section. This is Imperial Link Cheese. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow for another exciting episode. Bye.